Hey guys, if you haven't watched us before, my name is Linda and uh, we are a full-time family. We have nine children and seven of them are traveling with us. We are kind of at a halt right now in eastern Washington, uh, renovating our RV, trying to earn some money at uh, events and farmers markets to get that done. And um, if you haven't subscribed to our videos and you think you might like to follow us, please just hit the little red subscribe button and feel free to comment and um, I am okay with constructive criticism or, you know, opinions as long as they're nice. So if you have a bad opinion, just don't tell me. No, I'm just kidding. Just be nice. Um, and it's okay not to agree with everything and I'm okay with that. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my DIYs that I've made today in um, preparation for the farmer's market tomorrow. So much work went into this. So, so, so much work. So I hope you enjoy. I mean, so much work didn't get into go into the recording, but into the making of, of all the DIYs. Sorry, super tired. It's like, oh. So my friend Grace and I are making some DIY products. So she's helping me because I'm making a whole bunch of stuff for the farmer's market and I've obviously chosen to make too much. This is not even all of my DIY stuff. So I've made um, vanilla lavender sugar scrub with actual real lavender buds that Grace and Taylor harvested and she is making um, some natural hand sanitizer for me made with essential oils and aloe vera gel. Are you having fun Grace? It smells really really good and, um, and it makes your hands really soft. Oh yeah, really nice. And I am making some homemade sunscreen. But I'm trying to figure out how to make a liquid recipe. I bought these really awesome glass jars, 16 ounce glass jars with these little uh, sprayer things. Because I thought it would be cool to have like a spray sunscreen for the Gets Natural and um, in a glass bottle, because who likes plastic, you know? Um, but I don't know if it'll work out, we'll see. each I believe and these were optional but I'd like to have a good coverage for this day's river and um, hopefully this turns out because I don't want to waste really expensive stuff so okay okay now I am making my own simple syrup um, which is sugar and water so basically just melted sugar so I'm using organic sugar cane and um, I did four of those 24 ounce cups of sugar and four of the 24 ounce cups of water and basically you let it come to a soft boil um, you turn it down and let it all melt together and then it stays liquid so it's really easy when you're making lemonade um, because that way you don't have to worry about the sugar dissolving um, it just is already liquid so this is what it looks like so I bought these and dumped them out because I couldn't find a jar that these uh, pumps would match up to um, so this isn't actually, this is mine, I made this. Um, and so this is what it looks like when you use the organic cane sugar. Um, it still has some of the molasses in it, so it's a little bit richer of a flavor and darker. And so today I'm also perfecting my lemonade so I know exactly um, how to make it for the farmer's market and how strong I need to make everything. I'm my homemade um, 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 sunscreen. And I tried to make a sprayed version of it. I didn't really like how it turned out um, because the zinc oxide kind of separated a little bit. Um, I already put beeswax in it, but I'm going to add a little bit more because I added some extra liquidy stuff. And we'll see if it hardens up. I don't know. I kind of need a longer spoon because it's just burning my hand. Turn it down a little bit. But um, I'm hoping it turns out because... I don't want to waste this, so I didn't exactly follow the recipe because I never really do. Probably should the first time around though. But I get impatient and want to play with things and, and make them, um, you know, my recipe. So, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, Mickey, you can turn it I feel like adding some cocoa butter. Mmm, 
It smells like chocolate, like straight up baking chocolate, but it's white. Okay, so weird. On. So I'm just gonna add like a chunk, or maybe more, maybe more than a chunk. All right, feeling risky. Let's see how it turns out. It's taking a while, like this beeswax is not melting. Maybe I need to have the, like the water higher in a bigger pan. I don't know. What do you think, Shayla? You wanna come look? It's green because it has hemp oil in it. And I'm gonna have to put some essential oils in it to cover up the scent because, you know, it just stinks. Hopefully lavender and- um, All right guys, so this is my sunblock all melted and I'm hoping that it'll set nicely in the morning. I put lots of cocoa butter in there. It helps with the smell and it also has that SPF property. And, okay Mika. Okay, I'm gonna be brave. I was just gonna do lavender and clary sage. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna add some sandalwood and patchouli. Oh, this is Only the hippies idea. are gonna buy this stuff. I, I gotta do it though. I'm, I'm risky. I'm serious. Only hippies like patchouli and sandalwood. Yeah. I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna go with it and hopefully people will still buy it. I wanna see if you can. Okay, here, let's put some in there. How many drops of lavender should I do? I'd say um, 30. I'd say. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. All right. And then Clary Sage, I'd say about the same. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. Wait, am I miscounting? Did I do the teens yet? Thirty. Mom, stop. Okay, okay, thirty. Okay, now these ones are really strong, so I'm scared. Okay, like five I'd of do each. Like three. One, two, three, four, five sandalwood, and one. <laughs> okay, apparently patchouli is thick. Two. Three. Four, come over here, babe. Five, oops, six. Okay, six patchouli. All right. That's cool. You wanna, here, watch out so I can smell it. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love the smell. Yeah, but you're a hippie. But I'm a hippie, but I think it needs more of everything. Mm-hmm, okay. Mom, you can stop it, Mika. Um, yeah? All right, so this is starting to set around the edges. And I think that it will be nice and thick. Hopefully not too thick. Uh, I'll probably sell the, should I sell them for 20 or 25 each? Probably. Those are way too expensive. They're not. This yes, is very expensive to make. Like I've got to make a profit from them or else it's not going to be worth it. You should do 20. Yes, people know that. Not a lot of people, but most people, yeah. So since it's only making four. I wouldn't make any money, it would be pointless. So, I will list these for $25 or even $30 each. It's, you're way too expensive. Am I way too expensive? Yes. You're well, I spent a lot of money on these things. Yeah, but doesn't matter. We could pull like 300 bucks tomorrow and drink it. Alright. I would sell those. I'm gonna make you. Maybe. Alright, guys, so I'm really, really, really tired. So, there is a lot of work into doing DIYs and selling them at events and farmer's markets, like a ton of work, more than you could ever imagine. Like, you have to remember all these different things to bring and um, you have to like label everything and, um, and then you have to come up with nice little names. I'm very detail oriented, so. I, things are things are important to me that are not really important. Like, like um, I made this. Um, let's see, like this little roll-on um, oil. Gosh, I can't even talk. I'm so tired. Um, I made these oils that you roll on the bottom of your feet uh, with the mixture of on guard and oregano and lemon. So when you're sick, you roll it on the bottom of your feet like every two hours, and um, and it really helps to uh, boost your immune system and I wanted this like really cool name like I don't know sickness be gone or but I thought that was kind of cheesy and so I'm spending all this time trying to come up with this name it's ridiculous I could just be like the get well blend or whatever 
So it's kind of frustrating. Um, so I have to tone myself down a bit. Anyhow, everyone else is sleeping and I'm kind of having to force myself to go to bed because there's still stuff that needs to be done, but almost everything's done. Like I labeled every single little thing I made. Um, and I even have it in the nice pretty little boxes so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow. Um, so that's good. And I'm super, super tired. I didn't like close my eyes to go to sleep last night until like two in the morning. And so I can't do that two nights in a row because then I get really, really tired and I don't do well off of little sleep. Like I get emotional. So I have to get my beauty rest. Um, and I think one more thing I have to do is like wash out the ice chest for the ice and then finish loading things up. But all the girls got all the little ones ready and dressed for us for tomorrow. And I'm thinking, oh, what are we going to do for breakfast? Because we're leaving here at like 6.45 in the morning. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to have like Shayla make pancakes in the morning so the kids can just eat them on the road. She's really good at it and she's always really um, happy to be helpful. So, um... I put a ton, a ton of time into making all these DIY projects and perfecting the lemonade and getting it perfect and perfectly sweet and perfectly tart because I like the strong lemon flavor. Um, like so, so, so much time into it. So I'm really, really hoping we make some money at this or else I'm going to feel like a complete failure. Like I wasted all this time and I hate wasting time because time, if you have one kids or if you have 10 kids, everyone knows time is precious. So, so precious. Even if you have no kids. Not quite as precious, but it's still precious. Um, so, good vibes for us that we make um, at least a couple hundred bucks tomorrow. Um, hopefully three or more. And, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure how big the event is. I know it's not huge. It's in a small town, but but I think it's going to be a decent size. Um, hopefully, I can get some rest tonight. And, um, yeah. So send some good vibes our way, guys.